Hey, Edwin, are you there? Jose? Hey, good evening. Good evening, Jose. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing good. Good. Great. It was a hard day, but finally I came back to my home. Okay. Yes, yeah, some days, oof, a lot of activities to do, right? Yeah. Every day. I'm working in a private company that but I doing everything about logistics. Uh, for example, Jose, what do you mean everything, Joe? You... Uh, for example, uh, deliver some papers, uh, got uh, some vehicle keys, uh, buy some new... Uh, for example, I have the scratch vehicle, I need to buy everything that I'm gonna use to repair everything like that. I go into the bank, um, different things. Ah, uh, okay. I understand. I understand. Okay. Yeah, we we sell we sell auto parts, use auto parts, okay. and we sell vehicles and motorcycles. Okay. Also, motorcycle used or new. Uh, use. Everything is used. It's from U.S. and South Korea. Ah, South Korea. Yes. And, and but from, from South Korea is uh, just vehicles or like a band. Okay. And from U.S. is uh, small cars, uh, big cars, and motorcycles. But wow. it's, it's crash vehicles. You have to fix here and then sell. Yes, yes. I, I, I only surprised by the motorcycles because normally for the motorcycles in a crash, destroy the motorcycle. No, really. I'm, I would like to share. Uh, let me, if I, if I try to verify if I got the, some picture, I bought a motorcycle yesterday. It is 2021 Kawasaki uh, R400 centimeters. It's and 600. this is crash 400. 400, 400, uh-huh. Yeah, and this is crash, but that's so good. It's just from, this crash is just, how can I say that, plastic? Mm -hmm. or yeah plastic and the front lamp and that's it mm, okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna buy uh, like a uh, three different things and paint and that's it okay i because i thought i was thinking Crashed? Wow, it's it's difficult because always with crash vehicles, huh? Yeah, it depends. For the um, no, for the motorcycle. The motorcycle, yes. There is different kind of crash. If you decide if the motorcycle has a good things to repair or not. And depends to the money, how much you're gonna pay for that. For example, if I I find a motorcycle, a scratch motorcycle, like, uh, for example, the year is 2021, and I'm gonna pay $400 for a scratch motorcycle, that's a good. Because yes. here, the motorcycle is gonna cost like uh, 1,500, something like that. If I fix, uh, for say something two thousand, but I can sell for the three thousand dollars. Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay, it's good business. It's good that's, business. That's, that's the things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the idea, right? The idea is business is, is money. Yeah. The yes. idea is to make the money, to make the money. Yeah, true that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. Good luck. I know it's difficult sometimes with the business, but I think it's a very good opportunity to use motorcycles and used cars. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Well, I'm glad I see we have several people here. It's good that everybody came. We are talking and discussing the idea of favors. Remember yesterday we were looking at favors. Roxana, do you ask your friends for favors? Is this normal? Uh, yes, teacher. What kind of favors do you ask for, Roxana? Uh, for my friend, Jessica, because when I have uh, some technological problem, I her I asked to her, could you help me with the with the uh, my how send a, a, a how use a, so or how send the a film film un archivo how allow file, this allow file 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 yes. A file, no file, a file. File, file, file. Okay. Yes. All right, good. Nice, nice request. Easy way. Edwin, what about you? Do you ask your friends for favors? <laughs> One more time, Edwin. Repeat. I did it. No, okay, okay. No, no, okay. Oli, what about you? Do you ask your friends for favors? I, I am. Do you ask your friends for favors? So sorry. It's okay, Oli, it's okay. Do you ask your friends for favors? Uh, I listen to. I uh, favorite and my friend, friends, friends, um, and no, I'm not friends, is not favorite. <laughs> So, uh, husband, uh, yes, I favors. Okay, husband. Okay, so my husband, I ask for favors. Ask, I favors, yes. Okay, okay. What favors do you ask? Money. <laughs> <laughs> Very money. Very money, yes. yes. You are my champion. Every you day. Are my champion. Every day. <laughs> Yes, very money. For lunch, <laughs> for shopping, for... Yeah, <laughs> let me. <laughs> okay. No money in the wallet, uh, uh, oh. Emilio. Okay. Of oh, school. <laughs> okay. okay. In finish quick, in finish quick, um, la, um, lavado, ¿cómo se dice lavado? Wash? Wash. Wash wallet. Wash school. <laughs> for for yeah. Children. Children. Everything. Oh. Everything for the money. Everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Well, today we're going to continue with the idea of listening. What are the favors that the people ask for? Here we have the activity. This is 3.6 list favors we're going to listen please listen and write down what are the favors do they say yes do they say no okay let's listen to favors hi everyone by the end of this class you will develop skills in listening for specific information after listening to the audio program you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding so let's get started You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests 
and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really... Okay. Let's take a look. You remember what were the three favors that they asked? The first one is about the, the camera. Okay. Well, the first one was for camera. And does the person admit or not accept to lend the camera? I don't remember. <laughs> yes. Yes. Robert say yes to Tina. Yes, yes, they say Tina. yes. You can use the camera to yes. pictures. Yes. Okay. So, what about number two? What was number two? Oh, it's so about bread make bread make maker. That's right, uh, a bread maker. And what do they say? Yes or no? But Maggie said no because the bread maker is, uh, is they... broken. Exactly. No, because it's broken. But if not broken, she says yes, but it's broken. So bad luck. And number three, what was number three? About the bird. It's Polly the bird. Polly the bird. What happened with Polly the bird? But she said no, because the bird is a lot of noise. But he said... It's not noise, it's clean and it's quiet. <laughs> but I don't remember is is at the end she has said or no. I I don't remember. Do you remember guys? Lilin say yes to uh, take care yeah. of Polly. Yes. Yes. In the yeah. end, in the end she said yes, correct. Yes. At the beginning, no, but in the end, yes. At the end, yes. Yes. Good. So all of those are ideas that yes, we... I said. Okay, let, me go. let me put where is it? Uh, here. This is from the idea from yesterday. Remember. Um, I put one more time. These are the different ways to make the request. Remember, less formal, can and could. Right? Intermediate formal, is it okay? To would it be okay? then more formal, would you mind? And then the two, and then the very formal, I was wondering, I wonder if, okay? So we have from a little formal, like with friends, family, can, could. Maybe here, do you mind? Would it be okay? Maybe with coworkers, people Did that you work with. Good evening. Good evening. 
When yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just got home from, from work. It's okay, Elio. Okay. Do you mind? And would it be okay? It's people that you work with and then maybe for big favors or strangers, this one. I wonder, or I was wondering if you mind. It's okay, the models, guys? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Oh, good. Those are the ones that they used in the conversation from the video for favors from that one that we just saw. I don't know why it disappeared. Let me see. Really appreciate it. There. That's from that one. And now we continue. We're going to continue looking at how to make more requests. We have several videos. Okay. Here we have a grammar. Okay. Now. Let me put this. Hi, everyone. So let's watch the video and then I will explain it. The video is a little bit long. So put your microphone on mute. That way we don't distract the other partners. Okay. Okay. So take a moment. Please put the microphone on mute. And that way the others can listen clearly. Don't worry, I help you. Okay. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now, let's discuss what indirect requests are. So, indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there. Um, and you leave a message for that person. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions. If you notice, what is the common way to change? Ah, we use, can you, and could you? These are the less formal ways, right? If we remember from the picture from before, can you and could you is a little bit like with friends and family, a common way to ask the person, right? It's not a big favor. This is usually something small, okay? Now, what are we talking about? Indirect request. This means that you are asking the question, but not to the person. <clears throat> I want to ask Jeff, but Jeff is not available. Jeff is in a meeting or Jeff is in the bathroom. So I leave a message with Jeff's wife. I leave a message with Jeff's sister or secretary. And that is how I use this. Okay. Could you tell Jeff that? Okay. Or I want to talk to him or can you tell Jeff not to be late? It's okay, the idea? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, let's watch the video and see how examples. Or do you have a question? No. No? Okay. Okay. Those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now, I'll be discussing this individually, uh, and then um, we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement, we change it to an in indirect request. You call um, maybe uh, maybe Jeff, uh, Jeff's uh, assistant, uh, and uh, you want to give a message to him because he was not available. And then you you um, you tell um, the assistant, uh, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? All right. So it's quite easy, right? We just kind of like introduce. Could you tell? And here we're gonna introduce. Uh, the person who uh, that message is for. 
So remember that what you're doing is you're leaving a message with Jeff's assistant. Uh, and then Jeff's assistant will, do, will then give that message to him. So it's quite simple, right? So what we want to do is uh, we want to um, uh, leave um, quite a few messages for Jeff. Uh, and then we want to practice changing those statements into indirect requests. In this case, we're going to practice uh, changing those uh, statements to indirect requests introduced. Okay. He speaks a lot, but the idea is this. You begin the indirect request with the comment, could you or can you? The two have the same meaning. Could you or can you? No problem. Then you make like a sentence. The same, the sentence, Jeff, don't be late. Jeff, Tony is having a party. So I say, could you tell, I'm, I'm, could you tell the person I want to tell Jeff? So could you tell Jeff? And then the sentence, Tony is having a party. Can you tell Jeff? And then the sentence, don't be late. Only that when we make the indirect request, we do not use the auxiliaries. We do not say, can you tell Jeff, don't, uh, don't be late. We have to say, can you tell Jeff not to, we need to change the negative into this form, not to, and then the sentence, be late. Is that part okay? Have to change that. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Teacher, and the first one uh, question and in direct mm -hmm. request, uh, the use of that is optional. Correct. The use of that is optional. It's not okay. an obligation to use that. Okay, thanks. Yes, you're welcome. Any other Teacher. Yes? Teacher, uh, in the case in indirect request using infinitive, is the use of uh, the basic verb? Correct. Use the base. Okay. So imagine I say, don't study for the exam. Don't study for the exam. Ah, can you tell Jeff not to study for the exam? The base form, not to, and then the verb in base. Okay, now, we look at the part for yes, no questions. Yes, the normal question. Imagine I ask, Maria, are you free on Saturday? Are you free on Friday? But Maria is not home. Maria is not available in the office. So I have to leave Maria a message. I have to leave a message with the secretary, with her mom, with, with the person. So I make the same as the others. Can you? Maria, but the difference is I don't put this information. I put because it's a yes, no, I if. Can you ask Maria if she's free on Friday, okay? Do you have my number? Can you ask Maria if she has my number? This is the if or the other form is whether or not. These are the two expressions for yes, no questions. So remember, the idea is you are asking someone, but not directly. I am asking Roxana, Roxana is not available. So I leave the message with Edwin and tell Edwin, or I ask Edwin, pass the message to Roxana. That is the grammar for today of the indirect requests. Is that okay or is it a little confusing? No, it's very really confusing. <laughs> I understand that you ask the question for another person. Correct. That is the idea. You ask the question for another person or to another person. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's, if it's a little confusing, let's watch all of the video. It's a little long, but maybe with that, we are clear the information, okay? 
Okay. Okay. Let's watch all of the videos. By uh, dad. So the first one that we can see there is, okay, Jeff, uh, Tony's having a party. That's the message. Uh, so how would I give the message to the receptionist or to his assistant? Um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? By the way, the reason you see that in parentheses is because that is optional. That means that you can either say, could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Or you could just include it. You could say, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So let's write a couple of other um, uh, statements, if you will. All right, and these are messages that I want to give uh, to uh, Jeff's uh, receptionist. Right? Uh, I'll change the size a little bit so that you can see that pretty clear. So how do we change this next statement? Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. All right, so once again, we want to deliver the message. We want to leave the message with the receptionist. So, um, could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite Hello. everyone from Hello. Me puede, me puede hablar Basically, the only thing that we did, um, you see, this is the message, right? Por favor. And what we did is we just pretty much sort of like have the same thing. We only added... And I'm going to highlight that in red. We only added, could you tell Jeff that, right? Because that, the message is for Jeff, once again. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? I'll highlight that in yellow so you can see. So this was the only thing that we added. And we're going to do the same thing for other kind of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other. Okay, let me pause it there because maybe that can help you with the colors. So the original sentence, Imagine I want to talk to Roxana. Hey, Roxana. Okay. And here we have Jeff, right? So here we say, hey, Jeff, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. I, but Jeff is not available. Jeff is not in the office. So I tell Jeff's reception. I tell Jeff's secretary. Ah, could you tell Jeff? And that is not an obligation. If I want, I use. If not, I don't use. Could you tell Jeff that? And then the sentence. The sentence is, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. So I put the sentence, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. Is that better? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. And it's the same for the other situations. The other situations we use here. Is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. How do I tell this to Roxana? How can I tell Roxana this? Uh, How do we begin? What is at the beginning? What is the indirect request? For uh, the direction is for me or, or what? No, for anyone, for anyone. The idea, how can we make this into an indirect request? With a could you or would... Uh, Correct, could you or can you? Or Remember. can you? Exactly. So always is the same. Could you or can you? Okay. So we say, can you or could you tell Roxana what? Could you tell Roxana... Can you tell Roxana what? Is sorry, sorry. Go ahead, could it's okay, tell, try it. Mm -hmm. Could you tell Roxana, Tony is if, going to invite everyone from work, from work okay. or okay. the second one? The second one, the second one. Uh, could, could you tell Roxana uh, that Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party okay well let's see if that's correct ah exactly that's correct you see could you tell the person and then the sentence that's it it's just like a sentence but at the beginning we use could you or can you and then the other information is the same and the person that you 
and the person that you are talking to. Exactly, and the person that you are talking to. Here we have, Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all music. How do we give this message to Jeff? How can we give this message to Jeff? Imagine I am Jeff's receptionist. I am Jeff's secretary. What do you tell me? Can you tell, yes, Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music? Ah, very nice. That's right. Can you or could you is the correct way. Here, let me see if I can put it. Can you or could you tell Jeff that? Okay. Okay. The DJ. Hang on. Let me put. Okay. All right. Can you tell Jeff that? And then we have the sentence. Exactly. Tony is going to have a DJ who is going to play all kinds of music. Is this okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to make groups and we're going to practice asking. Okay, we want to practice asking these different things. So imagine you want to give me a message. You're going to tell your partner, okay? You, ah, can you tell the teacher that? Can, or can you tell the teacher that? Okay, you want to create three requests, three for you and three your partner to ask me, okay? It's okay? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's try it with our partners. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn how to make indirect requests. In this class we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect requests. We use indirect requests when you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say for example you call a person and the person is not there, uh, but uh, maybe the assistant or a receptionist answers the phone, so you leave a message with that person. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present the structure. 
If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how the structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So for example, if we have statements, which is what we saw in our previous class, uh, then these statements will change in this form, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party or could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Um, so we did a lot of practice with this in our previous lesson. Today we're going to focus or we're going to um, pay close attention to imperatives. Uh, so we're going to have a series of imperatives and we will be changing those to uh, indirect requests using uh, infinitives. If you can see on the screen, we're going to um, uh, take this imperative and um, so the imperative is Jeff don't be late now this we're gonna turn it into an indirect request by using infinitives and so the way that we will do this is that we will use can you tell plus the object and then we'll use Okay, Roxana, let me hear the indirect request you practiced. Only one. <laughs> only, only one? I, I said, yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's difficult with it. Um, but no problem. One is. is tell me. She is saying she. She said to the to her uh, song the party. In my, a direction it's, to her song. It is dry mojitos. No, no, no. Uh, my my is for you, right? Um, and I said the uh, Oli. Oh, okay. And tell, I say tell, tell Oli. Could Let you me... tell could, could you tell the teacher Oli is going to have a party? Okay, good. That is correct. Good. Oli, give me an example that you told Roxana. Me? No, Oli. Oli, give me the example, Oli. Uh, Oli. Boy, yes, the coin, the have a party is Roxana. Say again, Oli, what is the request? Re request the Roxana is the uh, tell me party is Roxana. No. No. No, Oli, remember, we begin the we begin the request with can you or could you? Uh-huh, it's called. Can and you ask request is call me as the, the teacher if he's going yes Oli, but it's you not your husband it's you Oli. you can do it you can do it Oli, not the husband es que aquí te, hay, hay interferencia por todos lados yes huh? so sorry Escucho. It's okay. It's okay. Interferencia del, del esposo. Escuché. It's okay. <laughs> no, everybody. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. You try only. It's okay. You make mistakes. It's no problem. The, okay. It's okay. Can you ask the teacher if you if you have a hello yes only we, we lost connection you lost connection try it what, repeat it <laughs> repeat okay yes please Can you? Can you? Has, 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 has it's okay. The teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oli, it's okay. If did you have a party? Okay, Oli. Okay, practice more with your husband. Practice more with your husband. Then, yes. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, practice more with the husband. All right. Edwin, give me the example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you ask the... I asked to Jose. Okay. Okay. What did you ask Jose? Yeah. Tell, tell Jose. Mm -hmm. Can you tell to the teacher we're going to have big party today? Okay. All right. Good. That's good. Jose, what did you tell Edwin? Can you tell the teacher that I don't go to be on class? Ah, almost, almost, Edwin. No, is tell the teacher I I can't be in class. I can't I be can. in class. I can't be in class. All right. Okay. Good. All right, Leticia, what did you say? I um only one uh, uh, indirect request, indirect request introduction. Okay. Only one. Uh, can you ask um Jacqueline uh, if she uh, work on Friday? Okay. Good. Good. Who is your partner, Leticia? Okay. Uh, I'm not working on Saturday. No, no, Leticia. Who? Who was your partner? Jacqueline. 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 Sí, ya no está Jacqueline. Uh -huh. I, I looked, but I don't know. Okay, okay. No problem. Oh, no problem. Okay. Helio, give me the example. Okay. Este, uh... Let me, let me, can you tell the, the, the teacher that I will say he, he won't be in class tomorrow? Helio, repeat one more time. Let me listen again. Okay. Uh, I said, uh, there, tell me, could you tell the, uh, can you tell the teacher that, that Edwin won't be in class tomorrow? Okay. All right. Okay. Good. That's good. All right. And I think only we are missing who? Elena, right? Elena, yeah. Yes, teacher. Um, hello, says uh, Elena. Could you tell to the teacher I able tomorrow to be in class? Almost, okay. Could you tell the teacher that I am able to be in class? Okay, sorry. I am able oh. to be in class. All right, good. Good idea, guys. Okay, so this is the idea for indirect request. Remember, the function of the indirect request is similar to a question. The difference is that you do not have the person directly. You are not looking at the person. You are talking to the receptionist, you are talking to the secretary, or in the bank, the you, are, you are talking to a third person. That is the difference. All right. okay. okay. That is going to be the diff, the big difference. Okay. So when we practice it, okay, now that we have an idea, we are going to go again, okay, and we're going to practice more. We need more examples with your partner. We need to be more fluent. Okay. Let me see. I think we lost some, some people. So let's try this one. Okay. Now try to do more examples, try. And it doesn't have to be for the teacher. It can be for a uh, tell, tell, uh, tell Jack, tell the different people, okay?
Jacqueline, are you okay? Do you have any problems? Roxana, did you have a problem? You lost connection?
Teacher, I need to say something. Yes, Roxanne. My 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 battery is off and I need to I need to turn off my computer. Sorry. And I try to use another device, but I can't <laughs> my tablet. Okay. And okay. I need, and no I need everything. No problem, need... Roxanne. No Roxy, Roxy, okay. now you, now See you, you tomorrow. You... See you tomorrow. Bye. Roxy, Rex, Roxy, Nayib, Sam, you computer, you computer new. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say, I say, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. So, were there any questions? It's okay. Do you understand a little bit better now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. No. No, no. All right. Yes, uh, now uh, we're going to practice what we need. Good. Now we're going to practice. I need you so much uh, practice. So okay. much. Okay. I. Now, yes, only. Um, is necessary or. Uh, the apps, the practice. 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 Yes. Practice. practice. I, 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 my husband practice, practice, practice. No, I practice. do practice. class my practice. husband and you. And okay. I am. <laughs> okay, good, good, Oli, good. Now, what do we need to do here in the next activity is we are going to practice more but now we are going to practice the writing the indirect request here in 3.12 we have the same only four only four but we need to put the part that is missing here the missing, the beginning here the part that is missing is the end right here is the beginning and here is the end so with your partners we're going to try to complete three points. What is missing? The beginning or the end? Remember, it's indirect request. Indirect request. You ready? Edwin, you okay? Do you have some problems?
It's necessary long time. <laughs> Only. Yes. Were you able to complete or not? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And the other people, were you able to complete? Elena. Uh, yeah. Sí. Yes. Yes. Uh, Elena, I, Elena, I, I, yes. Um, but it's. Um, Okay, let's check. Let's let's see. Let, let's see how you did, right? So we have a couple of them. Okay. Oh, all right. Here, I'm going to share with you to see how you have your answers. That way you can see which ones are the correct ways. Okay. So here we have, how many friends can I bring to the party? Tony, how many friends can I bring to the party? What is the correct way? Could you ask, ask Tony? Yeah, that's right. Could you ask Tony? Remember, it's the same. Could you ask or can you ask? The two are correct. Okay. What about here? It says, could you ask Sophia? And the sentence is, Sophia, are you going to go to the party, Chef? Yes, yes. If she is going to to the party with Jeff. Ah, good, good. If she's going to the party with Jeff, good. Yes. Yes, or in the long way, if she is, do you have the yes. two forms, the contraction or the long? The two forms are correct. Okay. Okay, so you can have both ways. Could you ask Tony is one? Or can you ask Tony, right? And the other way is if use the if she he. Right. If she is or if she's. The two forms are correct. Now what about yes? He? Number three, whether or not he accepted the invitation to Tony's party. It's called you ask Kevin. Good. That's it is could you ask Kevin whether or not he accepted the invitation to Tony's party? And what about here? Could you ask Mario? If he is going to have Tony, I'll give me Tony a gift. If he is going to give Tony a gift. Yes. Oh, there we go. Very good, if he's going to give Tony a gift. And we can see, no? Oh, what's the question? Uh, um, the, the question mark is- The question. Thank it's you. Missing. We got the question mark. Thank you. Yes. Hey, so you see, these are the idea for the indirect requests, okay? We are going to pause right there, but tomorrow we have the opportunity to practice more and use this unit, okay? Okay. Okay. okay Thank teacher. you. All okay. right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have Thank a good, you. Night. good 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 night.